Good morning, viewers. Uh, this is uh, another episode of my Let's Play. Uh, I've got uh, a lot planned for today. Uh, I just want to show you some things that I've done uh, while uh, while I've been uh, away. Uh, first, is I change this here thing around. Um, these have been upgraded to the uh, this is a rotary macerator and uh, an induction furnace. Uh, they were actually running too fast, uh, which was good in one respect, but bad because it was overloading it. These engines couldn't pull the items out fast enough, uh, so I actually had to make two engines pulling uh, pulling the items out, um, and they're getting piped into this double chest here. Uh, this piping system here, um, it was causing problems. Uh, this is the best solution I could find. It actually sometimes is to pipe them underneath. Uh, sometimes when they would come into here, they would go back inside, which I didn't want. Will it work that way? I think that's what it was doing. Uh, regardless, this does function. It's not pretty. Um, I also had to make the uh, the overflow up here come pipe around this way. I tried to have the piping directly into the top here but items were coming up and coming over and then back into the chest which I didn't want so that was the best uh, the best way I could do that for now um, so yeah uh, there's some plans to upgrade that in the future uh, using uh, some different things um, possibly uh, logistics pipes or or actually uh, pneumatic tubes out of red power uh, but this will work for now um, as you can see, it pipes out and it comes down now from the uh, from the rotary macerator, and there's still one that comes out from the bottom uh, and sends them along the lines down to the chest down over here. As you can see, I don't really have a whole lot of uh, materials left. Uh, that's because I've got everything set up for what I want to build. Um, I did go ahead and build uh, the antimatter relay, uh, which you can see here. which took a block of diamond and some obsidian and a piece of glass and that gave me my antimatter relay and my uh, antimatter co uh, my collector, not antimatter, just a collector uh, is producing some eternalist fuel I should put some more coal in there soon um, I've upgraded these chests here to, uh, uh, to these nice uh, alchemical chests uh, which took a diamond piece type this morning. So a diamond, I had some leftover covalence dust from making the uh, divining rod, so I used up some of that. Um, just some iron, some stone in the chest, and some diamond. And it makes these huge chests because I was running out of room, mainly in this uh, storage here. Uh, that I'm going to be using soon. Uh, that's just a bunch of colored dyes. So let's get right to the uh, to the building. I've got everything I want to. Uh, 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 I got everything laid out the way uh, you know, for all the machines that I'd like to build uh, um, right now. So uh, these are all going to be forestry machines, uh, and there's obviously going to be a lot of them. I can't remember what they specifically are, but I know that uh, I'll figure it out soon enough. So some bronze some glass and a sturdy machine uh, which is just four bro uh, eight bronze in a on the outside gives me a farm and let's see so it's that so I, think I was going to make two of these I believe this is the this is the arboretum. And what do we have here? So we've got some iron, and we have the combine. So that goes with the farm. And the arboretum is going to plant um, uh, saplings for trees. This one here is going to be a logger. And as you can see, it takes diamonds 
10 sturdy machines. Here's my loggers. I need two loggers, one for regular trees and one for rubber trees. Um, I don't have the... Uh, there's another machine I'll have to build to extract the... Um, what they call it? The, uh, the sticky resin. Uh, but I will get to that eventually. Uh, a lot of these machines aren't actually going to be running yet. I'm just building them because I need to get them built and I want them, want them placed. Here's my peat bog. This one's uh, going to make uh, uh, make peat uh, from bog earth, I believe. And this is the machine to extract it. Yep, this will dig it all up for me. Excellent. And I believe this. What on earth could this be? I'm not sure what that was going to be. I'll have to look that up in a minute. This was... Yeah, I can't remember, so I'll, I'll come back to that. Uh, but I'll make this item here, these two items here. So this Nova Catalyst, uh, was just uh, some TNT and Mobius fuel, which came from out of uh, came out of my collector, uh, and that is going to make me a nice little toy. I hope I got that right. The Destruction Catalyst. Uh, that's gonna I'm gonna use that to uh, to mine. It will. Uh, you can let's see here. If I remember to do this. That's what it does. It uh, it basically digs, and I dug out some of my chest. That's not good. Yeah. So let's toss this, these items here back in there. Uh, so the other item I wanted to make uh, was was a few of the. Uh, well, Ah, uh, yes, a few of these. Uh, these are scoops. These are used to make... Uh, just got an achievement there. Uh, these are used to get uh, bees out of the beehives. Um, that's what one of those machines was. It's the apiary, which I don't have. Maybe that was a centrifuge. Um, oh, well, I will figure that out uh, in a second. Uh, there was also enough copper in there to make a whole bunch of uh, uh, peat-fired engines, uh, so I could power all these machines. Uh, but up here, this here is going to be the control tower for all the machines, for all these farms, which are all going to be down over in here. Which I've already dug out uh, the areas. Um, and got everything all set up off uh, uh, between episodes. Um, so that'll be uh, a sugarcane farm, a, a cactus farm, this will be the, uh, the, the peat farm, this will be the regular farm. I've already planted the trees um, because I need some wood. Holy moly, looks like they've all grown in. And back over here will be the um, the rubber tree farm. Probably shouldn't have put those so close, but oh well, it's not a big deal. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I need to find myself some beehives. And I know there's one buried back in here somewhere uh, on the ground. So I will just chop right through here. And there we got some bees. Nice and simple. Let's get this uh, dirt out of here. Place it back down. Actually, I'm just going to leave that open for now. Uh, 
so I'm going to need a few more bees because with bees I will be able to get uh, beeswax, which I'm going to need to um, uh, to make cans to hold water to make uh, the bog earth and uh, the peat farm. Uh, I don't know if you can use buckets to get it. But wax uh, capsules so will be the way I, I'd like to go. Uh, so for that, I'll obviously need beeswax. I'm just looking around for another, uh, for some more, uh, for some more uh, bees nests here. I know there was, I know I found a few around. Um, but I will, uh, I'll stop recording here. I'll come back if I find anything interesting. I'm just going to be running around looking for a couple more bees, uh, beehives. Here, a couple more bees, and it is getting to be night. That's actually handy because beehives just glow in the dark. Um, there are five different types of beehives: um, one for basically each biome, uh, meadows, forest, jungle, winter, and desert. Uh, the desert, jungle, and winter bees can only be, uh, they'll only, uh, they'll only produce their items, uh, their, their bees wax and whatnot, um, if they're in, uh, certain climates, uh, so basically they have to be in a winter biome or a jungle biome, respectively, um, which is not too bad, um, because I am close by to a winter and a jungle. But the nearest for uh, the nearest desert biome is like way over there, so that's kind of uh, not ideal. I, think I am running around at night because uh, beehives like to uh, glow in the dark. Why is this all lit up? It must have been down there. So these are just uh, meadows bees, and they will get me the, uh, they'll produce the honeycombs that I'm going to need. And I'm getting attacked by a spider, and I can hide. So I will run back to my uh, base over here, and I will be right back. Okay, so I figured out what these stone uh, and tin gear, and stone gears and tin was for it was to make uh, uh, some tin gears I don't think I actually I originally had enough of them so it's for one of them uh, this was actually to make the apiaries that uh, I'm going to need I think I uh, miscalculated there but that was okay this will get me I believe two areas that I'm going to need. I'm actually going to need four, so I will, uh, just don't go there. Go in the corners, like so. Some sturdy machines. And glass. Maybe areas. So because I have four princesses, I'm going to, uh, need a total of four apiaries. Uh, so I'll be back once those are all crafted up, and, uh, when I've found a place to put them. Okay, so I've got my apiaries done, uh, and to process all of the honeycombs that I'm expecting to get, I'm going to need a centrifuge, uh, which is a sturdy machine with some copper on either side and some glass on the top and bottom. Makes me a centrifuge. Uh, and to power all of these wonderful machines, I'm going to need some um, some way to to provide power, and for that I'm going to be using um, peat-fired engines. Uh, so all of these machines that I've built uh, uh, do take power of some kind. Um, uh, I'm gonna, because I have a uh, peat farm, I'm going to make uh, 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 little peat-fired engines. So it's going to take uh, copper gears, so, and hopefully I did all these calculations right. Uh, 
Uh, judging by that, looks like I didn't. That's okay. Uh, the only things that don't need power are apiaries, which is uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, I'll hang on to those. Uh, so now, just toss these back in here. What we're going to do is going to place all of these uh, wonderful machines. Um, now, because I don't have any peat right now, I thought I made up a... Over here. Yes, I did. Uh, so, because I don't have any power just yet, um, I'm going to make up a, uh, uh, a combustion engine. And I know where there's some oil, so I can use that just to get some initial power into the, um, into the peat bog. Uh, so we'll start planting. Uh, get these, we'll hang on to those. So let's go get these few machines down. I think I'm going to put a door in over here. Um, but, let's get these here. So this is the direct center uh, where I'm going to need to place this peat bog. So if you supply it, this is uh, bog earth, uh, if you supply it this, it will plant it all down, and as it uh, gets extracted, it's going to turn into dirt. So that'll go in this slot here. Um, I don't have any peat bogs, so I'll have to make some of that, but I'll put down this uh, turbery right here. And that doesn't have any interface, but that will output uh, any of the peat uh, through, I believe, the side or top. I don't think it matters there. Uh, but over here, this is uh, going to be the farm. Pull that off. And here's our farm. And here's our combine. So the farm will take dirt and seeds and it will place them around the uh, on the ground and the um, the farm here will uh, will wait until the, the wheat has grown, and it will uh, and it will cut it down. Uh, I believe wheat comes out the sides, and seeds come out the top. So while we don't need to keep supplying this with dirt, we do need to keep supplying it with seeds so it'll replant. Uh, so that's those two machines for now. Uh, now I need to find a spot to put my apiaries. So I think. Do it down over here, maybe over here. I'll think about that and uh, and come back to that in a second. Uh, so next, yeah, I think that's the next point. Uh, the next thing I need to get done is get these apiaries down. And. Yes. Yes. Get those apiaries down. Uh, so we'll be back once I found a nice spot for those. Okay. I just slept through the night here. I got my uh, my apiaries down. Uh, what I'm going to do here is because I want them to. Uh, so here's the interface. Uh, we have right now we have no queen in here, and so the queen will go up here, and the queen will have a life bar, and. Um, actually, how about we just uh, have just enough inventory to get uh, the bees into those things. So might as well get that started so they can start producing. Uh, so the bees will eventually die off, as I, uh, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, and when they do, they're obviously if there's no queen, they're not producing any any of the resources that I'm going to need, uh, the honeycomb. Um, so I want them to, you know, keep producing that, that honeycomb because it's going to be uh, very valuable to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is rig up uh, some pipes 
so that it will automatically, uh, uh, when the queen dies, uh, should produce a princess and some drones. Um, so I'm just going to rig up a little system here, so they will automatically uh, put the uh, the princesses and the drones back in these slots and make another queen, uh, essentially getting me all the res all of the uh, honeycomb that I will hopefully ever need. Um, so to do that, uh, I'm going to need an extractor pipe or an advanced insertion pipe on the top here, uh, a wooden transport pipe to take the items out and a stone here and the overflow will go this way I think that'll work Oops. so this one here will have to be an iron And I'm also going to need some more wooden transports, or uh, not transports, uh, wooden and uh, redstone engines uh, to extract all those items. There, that should be good. That will, uh, I think that will function just fine. So those are all going to go down into here and here. So I grabbed some uh, two of those alchemical chests uh, that were empty because um, I know that these will fill up fairly quickly with uh, with drones. Um, you get uh, two to three drones. Oh, there's no flowers. I think I checked that. Okay. So for those bees to actually produce anything, they need at least one flower around them. So I do have some extras, so I'm just gonna go and grab some. Yeah, let's use some roses for the heck of it. flowers all up, all around these which is uh, which is nice because uh, then you have a easy source of dye uh, so okay good now they're happy and they're going so um, now with those going uh, I'm going to need to set up uh, advanced extraction of okay, that uh, and that will go into my centrifuge, which I don't have on me. But that will go like this. And that will loop around where? Let's do it this way. That's really ugly. So I don't like that. Takes up a little bit too much room for my liking. So let's do this way. I'll have my machine there. There. And I can set up the extraction to come out this way into a chest right there. That'll work. Okay. Uh, so. Now, I think, uh, let me think I'll be right back. Okay, so hopefully I counted this out right. Uh, seven redstone engines. And I'll need some torches. And I've got some extra transport pipes and I will need some kind of chest. This one's empty so take that one. Let's go back down here and get these things placed.
there because I want to keep these running. Uh, I'll probably end up replacing those with uh, uh, some wireless redstone so I can turn them on and off. Uh, but right now I don't, uh, I don't foresee a desire to turn them off anytime soon uh, because they don't produce uh, honeycomb all that quickly. See if we got any. Yeah, we've got one, and look, it's almost dead. Uh, again, one, and it's almost dead. What the heck? Where the heck did that come from? That must be uh, some kind of a weird graphic glitch, or it's not. Oh, it's, you know what that is? That could be because it's, uh, It's the way the pipes handle um, uh, the item IDs. Um, that does make sense. That looked very weird for a second. Okay. So I do need a wrench because I forgot to uh, change around the, the way those pipes are. It's all gonna point the right way. And there's a creeper over there, so I'm gonna run and sleep through the night and I will be right back. Okay, so we're back. We do have a creeper creeping over there. So let's go get rid of him. Don't blow up my farm creeper. That's still going to need power, but that's okay. Uh, let's, uh, I'm running into some catch-22s here. I need a peat-fired engine to power the centrifuge, but I need the centrifuge to process the honeycomb. I can use another form of power. I can use like a stone engine or a, uh, um, I don't think a redstone engine will work, but it might. But it'd probably be really, really, really slow. But it might do just for now. But need that going to take the stuff out. Hey, look at that with this honeycomb. And yep, see. So there's our Meadows drone and our Meadows princess back. Uh, producing. Now those look like they're princesses, but I'm guessing once they get over to our chest here, they'll be drones, which is fine. Uh, 
so these here that I've set up are um, are advanced uh, wooden pipes, which I've seen before, because uh, I only want them to pull out the honeycomb. All of these drones, I don't want them to uh, uh, to do anything with. And so those will keep uh, producing away. So now. Um, those. I'll have to think on that. Um, while those are going, I'm going to start on the next big project that I've got going, uh, which involves all of this wonderful stuff. This thing. Uh, so, I'm going to clean up my inventory and then I'll start on this here. Okay, I was just uh, checking my uh, time here. It looks like uh, this video is going to be about th at the 30 minute mark. Uh, so I'll wrap it up here for now. Um, and I will, uh, on the next episode, uh, we will come back and uh, I will finish off what's in this chest over here. Um, until then, have a good day.